appeared as a kind of solution to make a work that, that, that would disappear had this possibility um, of kind of incorporating painting into everything else, of making it part of other things. But also it sort of forgave itself in some way, conceptually. It allowed me to stand between believing and not believing in a way. It allowed you, me to continue to do something and kind of let myself, forgive myself if you like, you know, for doing it because it would be gone. And it changed the nature of the materiality, of course, of, of the thing. And, and it elevated, if you like, the status of, of, of the action of painting over the object. Principally, this resisted the market as well. You know, there was a sense in which painting was so easily absorbed into the market in its conventional sense and easily traded. And it was like a record that you could play at every party. You know, you could take it out of the cupboard and put it up on the wall again, and there it was. And I liked very much that the work was rooted in the situation in which it was, and kind of emerged from that situation. But I still feel this element in which the work it situates itself very awkwardly in terms of its materiality is very, very important to me. You know, the work has a very fragile nature, and for me that emphasizes a sense of presence, you know, a sense of being here now, if you like, um, and focuses, focuses, absolutely focuses on on this situation, the situation of looking. Um, and principally, that's the thing that interests me. And with this work, you know, it's, I've made a particular decision to use, use silver leaf, which, you know, of course has a lot of associations. Some of them in art terms are kind of negative in a way, but I'm interested in the material, in a kind of immaterial quality of this material, because it has the possibility to be dark and light at the same time. And it has this kind of sense, although it's a very much matter, it's very much stuff, it's an element. Um, it also has this, you know, this, this quality of just not being there, of, you know, just, just catching light and then disappearing, kind of. And it's that aspect of it that, that interests me as much as any association with style or decoration or, uh, you know, other forms in which it's used. And on a technical level, it's applied very much as a painting is made, you know, with a paintbrush, the drawing is developed and painted, you know, um, using a, a material that we call size, it's just a kind of adhesive, you know, um, and this has the property of, of what, we, what, what they would technically call staying open or staying alive, usable for a, a given number of hours. Now this varies according to the type of size that you use, and actually, the conditions here meant that, that we didn't have so much time to work. Um, usually, the size should stay open and usable for 24 hours, but we were having difficulty after an hour, so we were trying to do all to, to gild or to apply the silver leaf, which is pure silver, which has been beaten flat into leaves of silver, into these thin, very, very thin, almost transparent sheets. Um, and they're applied to this kind of glue. Now you apply the, the sheets flat to the wall and they will stick, the silver will stick, hopefully, stick to the parts of the wall where we've painted. And then you brush off with a soft brush. Um, and then in the end, you know, there's this process of really just cleaning the, the work up, of trying to remove some of the evidence <laughs> of how it's made. Because although I'm talking a lot now about this process, it's something that in the past, until very recently, I've tried to play down a little bit in the, in, the, in, in the whole discussion of the work because I feel that I don't want the work to seem as if it's been difficult to do. I want the work to s appear as if it's always been there, as if it was kind of somehow effortless. And that's very important for me in terms of developing ways of making the work. It's important that it is made by hand, that it's something that, and for me that creates a connection you know, with the past in a way, with, with the language of the past as much as anything else, but also because I think that painting has this possibility of remembering how it was done. In the material, in the handwriting, is a kind of memory of, of the presence of being here. It's a very simple thing to say, but for me, the act of looking engages with this because the act of looking is part of this process of making. And two things somehow become linked together uh, and I feel they create an arresting of time. They, allow, they create a kind of delay that sort of holds the time.
that, that in the end, what the work is is a memory of the time. It remembers the time, you know, in a way. And that's quite crucial to me, and it's quite, you know, it's, people often ask me, why, why do you do this, this in such a laborious way? It's not for the sake of the labor, it's because the, it, this is the material in, with which the work is made. Time is the material.